This video is going to turn into not a review, but almost a troubleshooting for this Cut 50P with Pilot Arc. Uh, so on the gauge, I this should be reading around 60 PSI or 0.4 MPA. Even the manual says so, but it won't. It will only cut at 30. Well, I shouldn't say cut. It will only Pilot Arc start at 30. Now, arguing with a guy on eBay is terrible because translations and English and all that nonsense is fun. So, I made sure I change out these tips. And what I found, if I loosen this, see if I loosen that, how much play it's got? Well, you shouldn't have to run the machine like this. It should be tight. Well, if it's like that, it dangles to one side or the other and boom, magically this thing works every time. Well, like most of the time and on a machine like this you have to have the pilot arc otherwise there's no cutting because that's what starts it all cutting plate steel at 30 psi uh, is just very nasty it's not a clean cut at all i did this cutaway to show that the gap here is way too big um, i measured the gap here and here it's very centered um, and it's very small, I forget the number, but the gap between the base and the tip is way too big. I could see that the arc was actually starting on the side of the tip and spiraling down. Um, it actually should start probably right around here and then come out. Um, but because this is way too big of a gap, the air is just blowing it out before it could reach and come out. So when I was unscrewing this to where it was loose just a tad bit, it'd come down just a tad bit enough to come out. Now currently I'm using this with just uh, this slightly loose. There is actually a, enough space here to where the surface can be ground down, allowing this nozzle to go in deeper and uh, making that gap not so big. I hope this helps somebody. Although at the same time, I hope no one's having this problem. I, I get the price. Um, it's going to be cheap. Who knows how? A, a lot of people have had long-term success with these. Uh, the fact that they just jam-packed everything in here. This. You got wires rubbing everywhere. Um, random stuff dangling around. They needed a bigger case. I would have been fine with a bigger case, but that would have added to the price because your shipping goes up. Um, and materials go up. So, I kind of get it at the price point why this thing is so cheap. It, it is what it is. This is kind of odd. Right on this top board, there's this green diode. Uh, okay. There, there's no screen here or anything. That's weird. There's a red diode over there. Are they literally... Or, an LED, are they using the LEDs as diodes? On the front indicator LEDs, they just poke the prongs through the connectors instead of making a connector on the LEDs. Wow, that's cheap and let's have exposed, let's have exposed wires everywhere. All right, my, uh, the impressions of this is it's Chineseium as can be. Um, which is kind of hard to justify the price. Almost $300 into this. <laughs> All they did is take a regular cut 50 and add this board right here, wire tied onto another board to do the pilot arc. And I think uh, this board as well is just randomly floating there is um, the pilot arc. You just have capacitors floating around you're soldering onto backup boards, uh, wires touching resistors, which uh, resistors get pretty hot. Touch zone with the uh, capacitor. They say these are Toshiba MOSFETs. Um, yeah, they're labeled Toshiba, but anybody can label something, anything they want. Also afraid that there might not be a good coating on here, so I'm also gonna do um, on the vent fan going to hook up a filter and even the instructions as terrible as they are do say to blow this out 
with an air gun. You don't want to create a short circuit on this board, I tell you that much. Um, fine particles being blown around when you're working with metal. They're going to be attracted to this board. Heat switch, turn it off. Hopefully it turns it off, it just doesn't turn a light on. I'm happy they at least put a, a bunch of thermal paste on these to conduct the heat. Oh, everywhere they did glue the connections down. Uh, this is on top, just another example of how cheap and unthoughtful they just randomly threw a capacitor on the back and dangling around. Uh, the wire to the switch, uh, um, the trigger is not even um, clamped in there because it's too small of a wire, it's kind of frail. Pilot is just an open wire clamped on there. Um, this is okay, but then the hose is kind of fragile there. Sadly enough, the best part of this whole machine compared to anything else is the ground lug. Big beefy brass. Actually a decent ground. You have a copper coated clamp that has good tension on it. Better than my welder came with. I think they're trying to save a ton of money by putting the air regulator in the back. If they had an air regulator on the front like some models, they would have made this a lot bigger, which ups your shipping costs from China. I think putting the air regulator in the back kind of cheapens this thing, uh, not being built in, but like I said, they're saving space. But it works, uh, really cheap, shiny hose. <laughs> It blows off really easily. I had to Teflon the heck out of these fittings because they're steel fittings. I'm having this hooked up to 220, but if they ever need to switch the plug out, I have it set up this way. Um, white in America is usually neutral or North America. Uh, blue, and uh, it's kind of a European spec, is neutral. Brown and black are the hot or the phase and green with yellow and green as ground. That's, that's kind of common. But in a 220 case, or 240, brown, blue, or black and white are gonna be your hots, and well, ground is always gonna be ground. But I'm setting it up this way so correctly. That way, if I do wanna do 120, I know that black is hot, White is neutral, green is ground, and all I have to do is set, change the plug. You can he see a huge size difference in my wiring. This is, uh, they only had 600 volt rating um, insulation. Uh, the stuff that it came with, it only came with a two foot long cord. I could have put it, hooked it up in the box, but as you can see, it's kind of crowded in there with 600 volt insulation. It would be a little difficult getting in there. 